Hi y'all and thank you for checking out my video that I'm about to make on this pistol and unboxing. And guys, as you can tell by the box, what I got is another T-Sauce 1911. For the ones that's following my channel, as I said in the previous video, I'm very fond of the T-Sauce 1911s. In fact, I have started collecting them and I've bought three of lately. I've not had a chance to get any of the three on the range, but the with the three that will make eight in my collection but what i was wanting to share with you guys today will be the tesis 1911 a1 aviator it's uh chambered in 45 acp and guys let's turn her around and open the box up see what we got this is a pistol we'll get to it right here just in a second pretty firearm and as you can tell by the thumbnail this is a T-Sauce 1911 that I'm disappointed in and I would not recommend to buy. And if you'll stick around to the end of the video, I will show you why I made that determination. Maybe some of you guys will disagree with me. But anyway, we'll show what's in the box right quick. You do get a set of the extra classical, classical design plastic grips with it, guys. You get the barrel bushing tool, uh, you get the chamber flag, you get the lock. Of course, this firearm does come with two seven-round Met Gar mags. Uh, one's in the in the firearm. And guys, like like I said in the previous video, you do get the cleaning kit and all your paperwork and stuff here. There's no use going into that. And a nice, you do get a nice uh, carrying case with it with a seal, waterproofing it. But let's get to the pistol itself. And guys, like I said, just to face value, this is a very, very pretty firearm. And uh, the frame on this particular one is aluminum. It's an aluminum frame, lightweight. It does not have any checkering on the front, but it does on the back have a curved mainspring housing with straight line serrations on the back, guys. This pistol has all, mostly all the classical designs. Uh, uh, guys, the slide is a cold hammer forged steel and it's a commander uh, length, four and a quarter length barrel. And it's like I said, it, it's 45 ACP. And it does have the 70 series internals just like all the T-Sauce 19 lemons that I have. Uh, guys, I'll show you all the good parts of it, and then I'll get down and show you why I would not recommend it. But anyway, it is unloaded. There's nothing in it. I'm not even loaded. There's nothing in, in the mag well, nothing in the chamber. And guys, we'll start with, like I said, it has the curved main spring housing straight line. Your grip safety does not have a memory bump. It's more traditional, more classical design. It does not have the extended beaver tail, but it does have the rounded hammer, which, you know, I don't believe you're going to get any hammer bite with that. I like the way that hammer, it's not the classical design. You do have the classical design thumb safety. It is not ambi. It's not ambi. Guys, these sights right here, the back ones, they're more like an enhanced tile. Uh, they're better than the, the classical design, and they've got straight lines, serrations on the, on the rear sight for it to keep down and glare. But what's amazing about this little firearm, on the front side, if, you can, if I can get it in there and it'll focus good, that's a brass bead they put on the front. This is only 1911 T-Sauce that I have that's got the brass bead uh, inlaid in the front sight. And I believe that's pretty nice, that's, that's pretty neat. You can really get a nice sight picture with it. it the fit and finish on this, just like the rest of the tea sauces I have, it is nice. There's a little bit of movement in the slide, not a whole, whole lot. This does have the lower ejection port but it does not have the bevel the slide only has uh serrations on the back not the front like i said then this is a real lightweight gun real nice i actually 
when I looked this up, I actually thought about maybe using this for my EDC, but I would not carry this particular farm. I will keep it and uh, keep it in my collection, and I will shoot it some. But the reason why I ended up buying this particular one is because I had a viewer. He shot me a comment and asked me about these. And I had never even looked them, looked into them or knew any, really anything about them. And so uh, after he gave me the comment, I looked them up and got to reading about them. And, and I called my local gun store and asked them if they could order me one. So here we are. We got it. But I appreciate every, I can't remember the guy's name or who, who gave me the comment, but I do appreciate that. I still, but I'm still glad to have this for my collection. But like I said, I would not recommend it. It does have... A beveled magwell guys which is pretty nice and the grips on this are rubber they're rubberized and it does have a real good feel real good feel of course now if you don't like them like I said in the box you got the classical plastic grips uh, guys you do on the finish this is aluminum but the frame is a black surcoat uh, According to the specs on this particular firearm, it weighs one pound and 15 ounces. And uh, like I said, uh, you you have a lot of the old classical designs here. Commander length, it's commander length. You got the, and also you got the short trigger, the classical designs. It is, it, is, it does have a little sandpaper texture on the front, but uh, pretty nice. Let's see what the trigger. Pretty nice trigger on it. Uh, nice trigger. All around nice. Uh, like I said, it does have the classical thumb safety. And guys, y'all shoot me a comment. And tell me what you think about what you've seen so far. And like I said, what I want to show you is the reason why that I would not recommend this particular one. In order to do that, I will have to fill strip it right quick. We'll take her down and uh, I'll sh try to show you. We got to get her back here. Pop this pin out right here. Take her apart. Now, guys, when I got on uh, SDS's website and uh, read about these, uh, I got to take the barrel bushing out. Uh, they did, according to the SDS website, they did say that this had a ramp barrel. This is the reason why that I would not, and this is a cold hammer forged barrel, but this is the reason why that I would not recommend this firearm personally. Now, some of you guys may differ with me because the ramp is in the frame and it is aluminum. And to me, that is a bad ideal. It's a bad ideal. I believe that running certain types of defensive ammo, you will have problems. And if you shoot it a lot, uh, you're going to have trouble anyway because them bullets will be skipping off that aluminum frame, and I just don't believe that's a good idea. I believe it's a bad design on T-Sauce's uh, behalf, and I wish I didn't have to say that because I do like the T-Sauce. But guys, y'all shoot me a comment and tell me what you think. That's the reason why I wouldn't recommend it. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. Tell me if you think I'm right. And like I said, uh, I ever who... Uh, Brought these to my attention in the comments. I appreciate it. I'm still glad to have it. And guys, that being said, y'all leave me a comment. And if you've not subscribed to the channel and would like to support it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video with somebody to help promote it a little bit. I'm going to try to get this one out on the range. And I just got through doing the video on the Yukon, Tesis Yukon uh, C10, 10 millimeter. And I have another one. We'll make three. This is two of the three. And I have another. I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Hopefully I can get to a range for long. I've been tied up and ain't been, ain't been able to. But guys, that being said, just shoot me a comment. 
And as I do with all my videos, I like to say that there's a God, a creator of heaven and earth, and he made me and you in his image. And we fell into sin, but guys, he gave us a plan in his son, Jesus the Christ. He sent him to die on an old rugged cross, and he shed his precious blood, and on the third day, he rose from the dead. And if we get covered under the blood that he shed, we can have forgiveness of our sins and eternal life. Until the next time, may God bless you. Stay 2A strong.